So we're here at the Eden Brow site, which is on the Carlisle Settle Line, North Palmerfoot. As you can see behind me, the railway line is shut at this location, and that's because we've had a uh, significant landslide on the embankment where the, the railway line sits. The failure has caused the closure of the railway line here because of the movement in the earthwork caused uh, significant track movement and not safe to run trains. The site itself actually failed during construction in the late 1800s, and uh, we're seeing a, a similar issue arising now. So we're here to, uh, to fix, the, fix the situation and reopen the railway line. The site here is uh, in a very rural location and quite hard to get to, so um, creating an initial site setup has been quite a challenge for us. Um, we've created quite a large site setup ready for the main works, which involves putting significant haul roads into the site. One of the first activities we've had to undertake here is to, to really understand the ground and what's causing the failure. To do that, we've had to do significant GI works, which has involved drilling a number of 30 metre boreholes to try and build up a profile of the ground and what's moving and what's causing the movement. We've also had to install uh, significant monitoring on the slopes below and above the railway line so again we can get an idea of what's moving, why it's moving and it allows us to put mitigation measures in place for when we're actually building the scheme and understand if we're getting movement. Part of the main enabling works we've had to undertake here on site is uh, de-veg quite a lot of the forest area to date um, in two main areas really the area behind us which is the main embankment we've had to do that to allow us to, to get a lot of our GI completed and also the monitor installed in the bank and also to undertake the works prior to the birds nesting for when we implement the main works and the solution we've also had to create ourselves roads through the forest areas as well so taking a lot of timber out of out of there so we allow that access to the work site as well as that, there's um, public footpaths and access for fishermen down to the river at the tour of this embankment. So we've had to put in walkways and beef up the roads to allow the fishermen and public to get to the places that they did previously before we came to site. Today as well, we've, we've removed some of the spoil from the site, which is causing a lot of the driving force creating the, the landslide. Um, we've taken about three and a half thousand tonne of spoil off by train. So to enable us to open the railway line again, we effectively need to bypass the existing embankment. We're going to do that by building a what's called a contiguous piled wall. That's going to involve us um, digging down four metres from track level. Behind me you'll see that we've already dug down two metres. We need to dig down another, another two metres to, to that level where we're going to pile from. We're then going to be able to install our piles, which will be both the embankment side and the cutting side of the site. We're then going to connect those piles together with a metre thick slab spanning 75 metres. We're then going to build a retaining wall three metres high above that which will allow us to build the formation for the railway line and ultimately install the railway line again. So the next phase of, of the works is to is essentially do the next phase of the excavation to allow us to install the piles. <laughs> 